here we go guys it does say sigma right there it does have manual and autofocus and it does have the lcd where you're able to go ahead and look at the numbers so you can go ahead and do your focusing and then you also have the 30 millimeter f1.4 and it has a really nice solid feel to this it's a heavy lens so uh, it is really nice guys i've been using this for quite some time and i really enjoyed it and uh, this is one of the awesome lens i mean compared to the 50 millimeter this 30 millimeter is not as close but i would say probably better than 50 millimeter now the 50 millimeter is still my favorite lens out there but this one it comes very close to this guys so when i'm in the shoots or so i have some choices that i need to make should i use the 50 or should i use the 30 millimeter so this is a pretty nice build quality and the focusing is really nice and smooth uh, transition on there which i really like and I usually use this on the 5D Mark III that I have because right now I'm shooting this video with my 60D. So I have my 5D Mark III and let's go ahead and mount this on there and see exactly how it looks. So here's how it looks on the 5D Mark III. And uh, I have to say guys, it looks really nice and it looks like it's built for the 5D Mark III. And uh, it is a little bit heavy because the 5D Mark III is heavier than the 60D that I have, which I'm using my Canon 60D to record this video right now. But the 5D Mark III is a little bit heavier and this lens is also a little heavy. So if I am using glide cam or so uh, for my shoots, and I think this is gonna be a little bit heavy for it. So um, I have to say guys, overall, I, have, I took some really nice shots with this and I enjoyed it. So right now what I'm gonna do is show you some of the clips that I've taken with the 30 millimeter f1.4 and let you guys decide on the quality that it has and the kind of video and the pictures that it takes so let's get to it now and hopefully you guys like this video click the like button comment subscribe Peace.